What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan and Nick Fan, your host, and let's get right into it. But before we get into it, I want you to do me one small favor. Yes, I want you to hit that like button. Definitely want you to subscribe, leave a comment. You want to know the next video going to drop, hit the notification bell. Let's get into it. Ka Soto. What can I say about this kid? Y'all already know how I feel about Ka Soto. I think he's a great talent. I think he he's not getting the recognition that he deserves. And we can blame that all on his representation, representation and, to some point, Ka Soto himself. Now, let's get into this video, and let's get into it real hard. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done a Ka Soto video. That's for all my Ka Soto legionaries. Um, and the, the reason is simple. I'm going to be honest with you. I, did, I didn't like the way that he was being used in 36s on Adelaide, the way they was using him, the, the amount of minutes. Uh, how many touches he got when he got on the court. I just didn't like it. And I was upset because, I you know, you know once he got rid of uh, uh, his agent, Billy Joe, Joe, Billy, whatever his name was, and he went over to Wasserman, I was like, okay, now this agency, it was a well-known agency. It had affiliates with uh, the NBA. It had ties. It had connections. So I said to myself, this can be Kyle Soto's path back, well, not back, but to the NBA. What happened? Uh, they resigned him to the 36ers Adelaide, and he goes back over there for a second stint. And I think that was one of the worst moves of his career. I mean, the first time he went there, that was for exposure. He needed that to go play with 36ers over in Australia. he get that exposure. But going back for the second time, I was very disappointed. I don't know if he had a commitment that Billy Joe or Joe Billy made before Weissman men stepped in and took over um, Kyle Soto's career. But I was upset and I was disappointed that he went back to Adelaide because they did not utilize this kid's skills. And C.J. Burton, I don't know if it's politics or I don't know what well, they just use in Kyle Soto for ticket sales over there in Australia and get the views, get the Philippine people to come watch their uh, programs or their their, their league. All right? But um, C.J. Burton had no intentions, in my opinion, of giving Kyle Soto the fair chance that he deserved to get on the court because he just didn't and like you seen it in the minutes that he got but since coming to the dragonfly y'all seen the video the new beginnings Kai Soto new beginnings General Mancha Sua, I'm gonna try to say this name because we are they are we, <laughs> excuse me it's Japan and I'm American uh African American so these names are gonna be a little tricky for me to pronounce and I hope I get them right, and I don't mean no disrespect to my J Japanese brothers and sisters who happen to come across this video, and I'm pronouncing the name wrong. I am sorry. All right, but let's get to the general man manager, and his name is Suji Ak Akazaki or Okazaki. Suji Okazaki, the, the general manager of the Hiroshima Dragonflies, said Kai Soto has a very high basketball IQ. He can move quickly. He gets up and down the court. And he's confident that Kyle will fit right into the Dragon's Fly defensive schemes as well as offensive schemes. And when I get finished with this video, this man did not lie. And to be honest with you, this is like the first time I heard of this general manager, and I like him. And I like him for Kyle Soto because he's not playing any games. He knows exactly what Kyle Soto is capable of, and Kyle Soto came in, and he did not disappoint. Let's get over to that first game Kyle Soto played. It was against the, like I said, I might be mis mispronouncing the name, so forgive me, and I don't mean no disrespect. But Kai Soto debut game came against the Ryu, Ryu Caillou Golden Kings, where he scored 10 points, had three blocks, two rebounds, one steal, and he played 19 minutes. Um, but the Dragonflies came up short. They lost that game 78-86, uh, to 86, and that was his debut. But it was a show. It, it was a what I like about that game and what and how Kai played is that it was showing you everything that he was capable of that he wasn't getting a chance to do while he was in the 36ers, while he was playing for the Adelaide. He wasn't getting that responsibility. And for one, he's a starter. We have to take that in consideration that he's starting. And I know people might say this is a B league or whatever the case may be, but this is still basketball. And I don't care if you're playing. Um, Division One or Division Two. If you can play basketball, you can play basketball. 
it's not going to be too much you're not going to do against this guy or that guy. It's just you having confidence in yourself and getting out there and playing to the best of your ability. All right. Like I said, they lost that first game against the Ryu, Ryu Caillou, Golden Kings. But he did score 10 points, have three blocks, two rebounds, one, one steal. And he played 19 minutes, and he started the game. Now, if you ask me, this was one of Kai Soto's best performances. And it was in his game, too. It was one of, and I'm going to say one of his best performances because he followed up in game three. And we're going to get to the game three. But let me just talk about his stats and game two and how he played against, like I said, I might mispronounce these names, against the Kyoto Hanareris. Uh, like I said, it was one of his best, one of his best performances in his young career, helping the Dragonflies to a victory, all right, to a victory, 102 to 95 um, over the Kyoto. Uh, and in this game, he dropped 20 points, eight rebounds, one steal. He went two for two for the free throw line. And he played less than 23 minutes. That first game, he played 19 minutes. But he wasn't getting the minutes. And I'm talking a little fast. Tell me in the comment section. I'll slow down next time. But he wasn't getting those minutes when he was playing under C.J. Burton. He just wasn't. He wasn't even getting the, the level of confidence that he's getting from this team that he got from that he was getting from C.J. Burton. And it played on his psyche. In my opinion, it, it didn't... Give him the confidence he needed to go out there and be the best Kai Soto he needed to be. And that was playing under C.J. Burton. And like I said, I'm glad, I am so glad that he is under, that he's no longer with Billy Joe or Joe Billy. I don't even remember his name. I just think that guy was out to make him how much money he could make off Kai Soto. And he didn't have Kai Soto's best interest in heart. That's my opinion. Because he didn't try harder or maybe he would have put him on the Dragonflies earlier. A team that he can succeed on. That's why I said with the Adelaide and 36s, it was a lot of p about politics and marketing. That's all I, and that's my opinion. That's, I, that's just think, uh, how they, uh, I think that's what they see in Kai Soto, a way to market him and get them Philippine dollars. Because they wasn't playing the man and taking him seriously. That's just my opinion. All right. Let's go on to his last game. And in my opinion, it was his best game. Let's just be real. It was his best game because after scoring them 20 points in his second game and helping the Dragonflies get another win, pushing them up to 30 and 20-something, he scored a double-double and helped them cruise by. Like I said, once again, forgive me if I mess up these names. The uh, Abaki Rocky Robots, and he scored 21 points, 12 boards, three, re three blocks, one steal. And that's that's my that's my point. If this kid, and let me tell you something, it was still less than 23 minutes. It ain't like he had to go out there and play a whole, the whole game, or 30 minutes. It was 23 less than 23 minutes that he scored these points. And you know why he was able to get these points? Because the coach was drawing up plays. He was part of the offense. He was, if not the focal part, he was the he was the leader. He led these team he, in both games that he scored 20 points and better. He led the team in scoring. And so that goes to show you what he is capable of doing. And if I was Kai Soto, I would play this year out to my best ability. I mean, I would try to be as a beast as I can, taking advantage of every opportunity I got. So that when we came back around to the NBA draft, it would make scouts say, hey, this kid is growing. Because what we all fail to, to realize, and I'm talking about NBA scouts, and I'm talking about us American viewers, is that this kid was only 18 years old when he really started coming over here and try to try, try out for the NBA. And he didn't have the experience that he has right now. And not to mention, as you get older, you mature, you learn. I don't care if it's basketball. I don't care if, it, if it's cooking. Whatever is your skill, you're going to get better at. And as you get older, you understand the ins and outs of that, of that particular skill set that you want to perfect. That's just my opinion. And... and He's getting better. And these two games show me, well, it have been three games, actually. These three games show me that he was wasted over there in Australia. And if you break it down, I know he only scored 10 points in the first game, 20, 20, 20 points in the second game, and 21 points in the third game. But if you want to break down his average, that's 23 points a game. <laughs> I know math is funny. <laughs> but that's 23 points a game. And something that we wasn't seeing when he was over there under C.J. Burton. Let's to be honest. And I think 
these new beginnings for Kai Soto is going to be what he needs. And if he doesn't make it to the NBA, if he, like I said, let's face it, he's just not getting the opportunity. Well, he wasn't getting the opportunity over there in Australia. And I think he's going to excel here in Japan. And with that being said, for those that don't know my saying, and I know, I know a lot of you haven't seen me in a while, but I want everybody to stay safe, stay healthy. God bless and peace.